But first, for your top story tonight, today was the last day for voters to cast their early votes in West Virginia. Thank you for joining us for 7 News at 10. I'm Colin Roos. 7 News reporter Bailey Martin has voters' final thoughts and advice for anyone heading out to the polls next week on Election Day. It's the final day of early voting here in Ohio County, and eager residents have been excited to get their vote in before the polls open on Tuesday for many reasons. I'm 18, so I got to vote for the first time today, and I was really excited about it. Knowing that I can come here early to vote gives me a more peace and calm situation that I like. Yeah. But it is just a major convenience thing. Um, getting out kind of in the middle of the day can be a little bit tricky. I feel that our democracy is at stake, and I think that every vote counts, and I think participation is the key no matter where you stand. Ohio County Elections Coordinator Tony Sheffalo says that participation in early voting has been great. They have seen over 2,700 voters for the entire early voting period, and around 200 just in their last day. How does this compare to years past? For an off year election, I think it's better. At the beginning of this election, cycle and a beginning of early. I wasn't sure how it was going to be and I, I've been surprised there's been a lot of people coming in and voting early. So I think the interest is there. Voters casting their ballots on November 8th need to make sure to bring a form of identification like a voter registration card or driver's license. Some of the main points on this election's ballots are the amendments and the county races. Citizens today had some advice for future voters next week. Do a little bit of research ahead of time. Have some idea of what you're doing when you're going into it. Um, but I think even still, just show up. Just turn out, just show up. If you didn't get the chance to come out and early vote, you'll want to make sure you get to the polls on Tuesday, November 8th. The entire 7 News team will be providing live election coverage that entire evening, so you want to stick with us. Reporting live in Ohio County for 7 News, I'm Bailey Martin, working for you. Bailey, thanks. And you can find different acceptable forms of ID and all you need to know for Election Day at your local election headquarters, WTRF.com. And as Bailey said, be sure to join us for all the latest developments on election night. We'll have coverage from all over the Ohio Valley Tuesday, plus state and regional coverage. The 7 News team is prepared to bring you live reports and interviews with winning candidates. And one easy way to get those results, WTRF.com, which will be updated all night long.